The solar panels would kind of be spread out between the west and the For the past several years, students in Eva Reader's geometry class at Mount Lake Terrace High School have faced a severe challenge at the end of the school year. My students are engaged in a five, six week project. It's a culminating project in a regular geometry class. They bring together everything that they've learned in the geometry class and they're applying it to solve a real world problem. And the problem that they have to solve is how do you design a state-of-the-art high school in the year 2050? At the end of the project, each team is required to submit a site plan for their school. The actual area right here has five buildings. That actually a scale have. model of at least uh, one room. The front row desk will lower down to the ground. A floor plan and a cost estimate cost for construction. $86,420,122. So that they get Teams submit a written proposal and give a final oral presentation to a team of architects who volunteer their time to judge the relative merits of the proposals. Reader created this rigorous project when she realized that her students weren't able to apply what they were studying in class. It became immediately apparent to me as a teacher that talking to kids didn't cause them to really deeply learn concepts. And they might learn the material learn it so that they could spit back formulas and, and so on on a paper and pencil test, but they weren't able to apply it in a context that's, that was outside of that unit and outside of that worksheet or book page. Why not have the whole site like wall be glass facing the water? It's when they can use what they learn in class to solve a problem that I know that they like learn the material. We'd have doors leading to the outside classroom. So While students must draw on their knowledge of everything from math and English to the aesthetics of design, they also learn an invaluable lesson in teamwork. Uh, we'll see how many we can fit. We'll see how many can fit. They're faced with this really complex problem that has certain constraints, and they have to figure out how to begin to make the decisions and move the process forward and how do you do that decision making within a group. These are the things that are really maybe the most powerful learnings that come from it. The real life problem solving, communication, collaboration. A hugely important piece of a really effective project is to have the audience for the student work be someone outside of the classroom. The quality of student work really does go through the ceiling um, because they care about these architects' so opinions. These are great ideas. On the final day of the class architecture project, Eva Reader's students went on a field trip to check out some of Seattle's landmark structures. But the most eagerly anticipated stop on the trip was a visit to the architectural firm of Wise Miller. The students were eager to learn about the work of these two prominent Seattle architects, but they were also anxious to find out what grades they were going to get from them on this, the final day of assessment. The winner this year goes to SK. Come on up. To hear someone honoring their ideas, that gives me just chills. Wonderful. All of the little details of the hassle of arranging field trips and making all this come together, it's just completely worth it.